European champions, world champions, Premier League champions, I think it's very likely, but I don't think there's a single Liverpool fan out there that will say it's 100%. But one thing's for sure, we haven't seen a team like this and it's quite unlikely that we'll see another Liverpool team like this. So enjoy and cherish every moment of it. So we've only got about half an hour until kickoff, and you guys might notice that behind me isn't Anfield, unfortunately. Today I'm missing the game against Sheffield at Anfield today. Um, I think it's going to be an incredible game. So the Red Men, the Jurgen Klopp, 11 have gone and beat Wolves last weekend in a well-fought battle. Uh, probably not the best performance of the season, uh, to say the least, but three points nonetheless. And that's all we're looking for right now. Three points every game. We are now 13 points clear of second place Leicester and top of the table with one game in hand still. So it can be an incredible second half of the season for Liverpool here. And in just our last 19 games, we have won 18 of them and only drawn one. And another game that I cannot forget to mention is the game on Boxing Day. The game that was highly anticipated to second place, potential title battling Leicester City, who I have to say have had an incredible season so far, but not quite as good as the red side Liverpool. And to assert our dominance, a 4-0 victory at the King Power Stadium, just to let Leicester know that Liverpool are not just champions of Europe, not just champions of the world, but will be champions of England too at the end of this season. Now let's talk more about the Liverpool versus Sheffield United game today. So Sheffield in their last game versus Manchester City were extremely unlucky to come away with zero points at the Etihad because of a VAR decision. And I think it's fair to say that VAR has caused more controversies this season than it was brought in to rule out in the English Premier League. Now it's important to mention that Sheffield United are joint second for the best defensive record in the league. Wilder's team have had a fantastic season at the back four, conceding only 19 goals this Premier League campaign. And as any team, the newly promoted Sheffield side will use playing Liverpool as an opportunity to showcase to every single football fan watching this game that they have the ability of a Premier League team. And hence, I believe they're really going to up their game today, which is going to make it difficult for Liverpool. But there is nothing that this Liverpool side cannot accomplish. Now, in our last game against the Blades, it's important to remember that we barely got the game over the line with a late goal by Jeannie Wijnaldum. Jeannie Wijnaldum's not extremely well taken shot was fumbled over the line by the Sheffield United goalkeeper Dean Henderson in the 70th minute of the game, which allowed us to win the game 1-0 and walk away with the three points. But I know that Sheffield United are going to come back today with a massive vengeance and a big, big point to prove. Seeing as it's quite close to kick-off, the starting 11 have already been announced. In midfield, we've got Naby Keita starting today alongside Henderson and Jeannie Wijnaldum. We've got the standard back four and obviously Firmino, Salah and Mane as the front three. Meanwhile, Sheffield United star player, the Liverpudlian himself, John Lundstrom, has been named on the starting 11 for Sheffield United. I think he'll definitely be the main Sheffield player to look out for today. I mean, he's on a lot of fantasy teams and that's only because he's been gaining a lot of points through assists and goals. Now, if Liverpool win their game today, if we managed to pull off a win and get three points, we would have gone a full calendar year unbeaten in the Premier League and that would be an incredible record. So my prediction for today's game is a 2-0 victory to Liverpool. I think we'll be able to break down their incredible defence. Um, it would be nice to see another clean sheet. I think we've finally broken that curse of no clean sheets. Uh, and Alison Becker and our back four have been incredible at the back. So I'm going for 2-0 with goals from Mohamed Salah. And hmm, I think I'd like to see Jordan Henderson on that score sheet as well. So I'm saying Mohamed Salah and Jordan Henderson to be our two goal scorers today. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to the game. And with that said, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.